Hello everyone, this is a video on how to replace the hard disk on a Lenovo massive, it must be 17 inch laptop, um, model number Lenovo IdeaPad 330-17IKB, otherwise known as model name 81DM, and uh, whatever the MTM number is, of 81DM0044UK manufactured in 2018 first thing you need to do is remove any USB devices which are plugged in and uh, if you're interested in what the inside of the laptop looks like it's, uh, it's just that Core i3 for this one so unplug USB devices and I'm going to start by removing the DVD drive. Not all um, models of this may have the DVD drive, this one does. So there's that screw there, it's got a little symbol of a DVD next to it. And then, oh see, even if it doesn't have the DVD drive it's just a blanking plate. So uh, unlike HP's where they actually just don't have um, the aperture where a DVD could go. Then, you need to go around and remove every screw. And if you've seen my videos before, I like to put the screws in the pattern that they came out of the laptop. So if the manufacturer has used a different length screw, then when you go to put it back together, you know where all of the screws came from and you don't end up putting a screw which is too long into uh, one of the places where it can't go uh, or if you put it there that it would go through and like damage the plastic or go through to a circuit board below or something like that For these, having a screwdriver with a magnetic tip is very helpful because you don't have to turn the laptop over every time that you undo a screw. That one doesn't seem to want to come out. <coughs> and then we're on to the middle screws, of which there's only two because I've undone the DVD one already. All the screws are now undone. I recommend getting a uh, spudger, or in this case this is a very thin uh, painter's knife, which seems to work quite well for undoing computers like this. In between the palm rest and the black plastic of the uh, underside, it's going to slip that down there and hinge the rest of it open. And I'm going to do the side of the machine. There's definitely something broken within this, 
that I could hear when I was uh, moving the machine around earlier. So uh, one of the plastic brackets or something must have um, have broken. So I'm getting to a bit where I'm having trouble unclipping this. Because this is a thin bit of plastic at the moment, I'm going to um, come back to that and I'll do that bit last. For some reason the customers put two little sticky pads there, but uh, I'm going to assume it helps them open the laptop because otherwise it would be quite well, for an elderly person, quite difficult to open or find the bit to get your fingernails under to open it when they want to open the lid. This bit's also going to be a tricky one. There we go. So the only bits that need undoing now is the back and the side with all the connectors, so the USB and the sound and um, card reader. There we go, that one's, that became slightly easier with the other side undone. So now it's just the back, which I'm sure if I put the laptop down and hinge it upwards, that we should just be able to unclip just by a bit of force. So I've got it unclipped at this bit now, just need to move along the back. Might start at this end now as well. So the only thing that's now clipped is this bit. And we're all unclipped, there's still something hooking it, oh there we go, and that is the underside of the laptop removed. I can see one of the bits which is broken, which is here, there should be, um, there we go, the rest of the plastic bracket has fatigued and fallen off. But the rest of those and there you see either side, the same I think's happened on that side as well. No, maybe not. No, that one's still intact. So I think it's just one bracket. It seems to have been smashed at some point. And we have the inside of this laptop. The thing I'm going to replace is the hard disk, which is over here. One terabyte in this machine. We've got a battery, which Frustratingly, it doesn't seem to take up all of the space that the battery could take up, so I mean that's almost like intentionally gimped. Um, we've got the RAM, which is already on the board, soldered on, but there's actually a slot above it for you to put an additional slot of, uh, stick of memory in if you needed to or wanted to. Wi-Fi card, CPU, fan is there. Wow, my phones are going mad. I shall treat this as a bit of solace and I won't answer those, I'll carry on filming and uh, deal with that stuff later. Got two speakers at the front here, CPU is under this and the CPU is definitely BGA array soldered onto the board. You will not be able to update the or upgrade the CPU within this machine. So time to replace the half disk. I'm going to go and lift up that corner doesn't really seem to do much. Lift up that corner, it's got it up a bit further. Aha. Right, so lift out, or lift up there. <laughs> Careful not to snag that lead there. And I'm going to gently wiggle that drive away from the serial ATA connector. What we've got here now is the old hard disk in a little caddy. Going to take the hard disk out of that, get the SSD that I want to use, and put that into the caddy.
that's now snugly in and what we can do is just plug that directly back in close the machine up and install the operating system again but what I will do is clone the data which is on the customer's original drive onto the SSD so that they don't have to start their operating system again from scratch so I'm going to go and do that and then the next part of this video will be after I've cloned the drive and it will be me putting the machine back together. If this has already been helpful to you it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on but the subscriber numbers really do help. Uh, thank you very much but stay tuned and I'll then be putting this machine back together. Right the drive is cloned so the customer's stuff is on this drive now and just do the reverse of what we did earlier. So push that in to the serial ATA connector, push it down into where the drive sits, which seems like it is going to be more difficult than it should be. There is actually a little plastic tab here which needs to go down to hold the drive securely in place even if you don't do that I'm sure when you put the lid on it's um, going to hold it in place anyway we do the reverse so push that down in the corner down there and then just going to go around the whole thing pressing down to clip it back down I'm also going to open the laptop and just squeeze around the edge. There you go, there's a bit that hadn't quite got clipped in and another bit there at the back. And now we should be good just to do all of the screws back up. As we saw when I took it to bits, the bracket for this one doesn't exist, so what I screw in here will not be holding the case of the laptop together, it's just literally screwing into the bracket below, just as a placeholder for the screw, it's not going to be doing anything useful, but rather than leave it with no screw there, may as well keep the screw there as a placeholder. Good, we're now up to the two inside screws. And if you have it, the DVD drive. If you don't have it, then the blanking plate for the DVD drive. And the final screw which holds that blanking plate into place. There we have it, this should now switch on and find the power button and it should boot up into the operating system off the cloned SSD drive.
Anyway, there we go. Hopefully that video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thanks very much.